What's up, hippies? Let's put little pieces of paper on our tongue and learn how to make vector tie-dye fills like this one in Adobe Illustrator. So opening up Illustrator, just going to make a new file. going to name it tie-dye. For the width and the height, I'm going to choose 1,000 pixels. And for the color mode, I'm going to choose RGB. And click OK. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this white fill and just keep this black stroke here. Um, so the first thing I need to do is just draw a circle. I'm just going to click the ellipse tool. You can hit L on your keyboard. I'm just going to click anywhere in the artboard to bring up this dialog box. For the width and the height, I'm going to choose 900 by 900. It's all off the artboard, so I'm just going to use the align panel here. If you don't see that, you can go to window align. Make sure you're aligned to artboard, and I'm going to align it horizontally and vertically to the center. That looks good. And for the stroke panel, um, same if you don't see that, you can find it here. I'm just going to change the weight to 50 pixels. That looks good. Um, I have the Spectrum's uh, list already open. Um, I'm going to show you how to pull that one up because we do want to make this a, a rainbow stroke. So I'm just going to go to Swatches, open Swatch Library, go to Gradients, and then Spectrums. And that should pull up this uh, ready-made uh, list of swatches. And this third one here is what we want to pick, uh, just the regular Spectrum. So it should look like this. Now that we have this shape, uh, we're going to make some uh, duplications of it. So just make sure you have it selected. Let's go to Effect. Distort and Transform, and Transform. Make sure your preview is turned on. Let's change the copy to 50. And for the horizontal scale, we want 90. And the vertical scale, we also want 90. So you should have something that looks like this. And now for the angle, let's change it to 15 degrees. So pretty much what this panel is doing, it's making a bunch of copies of a uh, of this original circle, kind of scaling each one down 90 degrees pretty much to infin infinity. And uh, it's also rotating it a little bit, so it gives us this cool spiraling effect. All right, still with it selected, we're going to do another effect on it. So go to Effect. Um, let's go to, uh, actually, Distort and Transform again. And let's go to Roughen this time. Let's turn the preview on. Um, that that kind of looks like a cool tie-dye pattern already, actually. Um, but we're just going to scale the size down. Play with it a little bit. I kind of like it at... Let's go with 2. I kind of like it at 2. And for the detail, um, you can play around with it a little bit. Once you get to this range, you start seeing some white space. So I would keep it probably... I'm going to do mine at 9. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go higher. Just that's all some white space here. Let's go to 11. So uh, yeah, we already have this like pretty cool looking uh, tie dye effect right here. Um, I want to soften it a little bit, um, so I'm gonna actually add one more effect to it, and this is gonna be one of the Photoshop effects. I'm gonna go to Distort and Ocean Ripple. Um, you can see here kind of how the effect is gonna look. It's uh, still rendering. Um, that might take it a while, so I'm just going to choose 6 for the size and 6 also for the magnitude. I'm going to click OK. Just let that work a second. And nice, yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to see. Um, just zooming in a little bit, just kind of softens it up and uh, just, you know, gives it a little less sharp of a look and kind of kind of like dye would would run. So I kind of again, you can play with that a little bit. I, I kind of like dusting it up a little bit, but you may just like the uh, the vector from before. Um, so yeah, that's basically the color that I want. Um, you could, if you would like to, kind of cycle through different gradient types. Um, I kind of like some of these black and white ones and change it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's a cool thing about this effect. It's uh, it's still live right now. Um, so yeah, you can kind of play around with uh, you know different color patterns or uh, different spectrums uh, to kind of customize it yourself. But I'm gonna stick with the uh, with the regular spectrum that we had chosen earlier. Um, yeah, this one here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna kind of heighten this a little bit, 
just add a little bit of negative space. So I'm going to go to the shape drop down. I'm just going to click and hold so I can go to the star tool. And also just going to click somewhere in the artboard so it brings up this dialog box. For radius 1, uh, we'll probably resize it, but let's do 250. But radius 2 needs to be 0. And uh, yeah, for the points, we're going to keep it at 5. Okay, so we should have a shape kind of like this. I'm just going to turn it white. And let's use the align panel again to center it horizontally and vertically. Uh, I'm going to put the caps on round just to give this rounded shape to the end. I like that a little bit more. And yeah, holding Option and Shift, I'm going to click and scale it up so it scales from the center. And I'm just going to go up to about here. It, uh, it scaled my stroke weight too. You can change that, but I'm just going to change it manually here to 25. That looks cool. And one last change to this. It has a uniform profile. But I'm just going to go to Width Profile 2 to kind of, uh, yeah, just make it a little bit um, uneven on every side. All right, and kind of like we did with the uh, original vector, uh, like spectrum vector, I mean. I'm going to add some effects to this. Let's go, I'm just going to roughen this one first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's kind of the effect I'm wanting, just some kind of crazier lines. Let's see how much detail we want. Let's go, I think 12 is nice. So yeah, 3 and 12 is what I'm choosing for this with uh, relative and corner points chosen. And now I'm just going to go to Effect again, and I'm going to Feather it. So go to Effect, Stylize, and then Feather. Let's turn this preview on. Yeah, that gives a pretty cool effect. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Just kind of get, you know, just kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. I like that at 13. And I'm just going to make a copy of this. Copy and paste in front. And just so I can you know, have a, a little bit more points to play with, just going to rotate this top one. Yeah, we've added a lot of effects here, so it's just going to keep drawing. Now I can add, get them both. And uh, I know I could have done this in one star, but a reason I like to do it this way is for this one, say I want to turn down the opacity to 50. I think that'll give it a more realistic look, kind of faded in. And this one, I'm going to go even lighter to 25. So yeah, that's kind of a reason I like to do it uh, with two different shapes, because I can kind of play with the opacity a little bit. And you know, just give it a little more of a, of a dynamic look. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like that. Um, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to highlight all of this now. I'm just going to make it into a group object group. You can hit command G as well. And just so we can see kind of how this would work, I'm going to go to the swatches panel, just pull this in. So now we have a pattern. Pull that off the artboard. I'm just going to pull it over here. So now we have this pattern here that we can you know, draw a few different shapes on. I'm just gonna quickly just do some weird shape. I like both of those. Just turn it black so we can see what's going on. And now I'm just gonna click uh, my new pattern. Oop, it went to the the fill. Let's make sure that, or it went to the stroke rather. Let's make that make sure that goes to a fill. And yeah, you can see we have this uh, this cool shape now. Um, say I wanted to change the pattern uh, in there, like we have some dead space here. I'm just gonna hold the tilde key. It's the key beside the one on your keyboard. Kind of a wiggly wiggly line. I can kind of move the shape around in here. Uh, still not quite as big as I want it to be. So from here, I'm gonna hit S. That's going to pull up the scale tool, or highlight it rather. You can double click that to pull up this dialog box. Make sure transform objects is unchecked, so transform patterns is checked. Let's hit preview. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Just so, yeah. We can get rid of all of the, uh, the dead space that was in there. 
um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, you can play around uh, with different effects, uh, a different you know set of steps that you want, just kind of using that spiral uh, gradient thing that we did at the beginning. And yeah, you can make some cool custom tie dye patterns. This is a you know it's all a vector, so you can play around with it. Um, and yeah, make uh, make whatever you want. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe, all that cool stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.